Did you know, 70 years ago, this guitar was made? It's Not this very one, okay. but <laughs> that was Jen. What the fuck? All right, we'll try that again. <laughs> right. What was wrong with that one? Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. We've got Daniel, we've got Daniel, and we've got Nathaniel. That was a dream team. That a dream team, isn't it? I like it. Well, could only we... only people whose names end in eel allowed. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel, Nathaniel, I've got a cock of spaniel. Aw. Today is is in the year 2024. Yes. Which um, if you carry the one it's 70 years since the stratocaster was introduced um, in its final form so um, what we have special for this year and this year only is the 70th anniversary custom shop stratocaster um, we're super pumped we've got four of them right now we're gonna order a bunch more if if somebody doesn't see something they like they can just reach out to us and uh, i'll go ahead and get it on order yeah. Now I must say, I do like the option of all the different levels of, of the Relican. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like we haven't gotten an entire line in every different uh, level uh, yeah. all at once, so it's kind of cool to see them all in one oh, spot. Definitely. I mean, they look great. Obviously, your classic Sunburst Strat is always gorgeous to look at, but see, I love the look of that as well. Yeah, I yeah, I'm pretty sure that one is the super heavy. Um, it's got to be, right? seven and a quarter to nine and a half inch radius um and does anybody know why no i'll, I'll you know i'm gonna ask you because i don't know much about it's so funny that the best player here actually doesn't know why right that's why he's good because he doesn't obsess he doesn't over stupid it. shit all <laughs> the time <laughs> so um, you're saying this is seven and a quarter inches down it <laughs> no. what all right no, so what does he laugh for that i'm you, radius <laughs> is a portion of a circle. The radius of the fretboard is how curved the top this is. Oh. So what this is, is it's amazing. This is actually pretty flat, right. whereas this is more curved. So down here, it's more curved, and up here, it's flatter. And the reason why is because um, a rounder radius is a little bit more friendly to the hand for cording. Oh, OK. Um, because your, your, your fingies naturally oh, yeah. curve, right? Yeah. But oh, like it's not so either. friendly for bending because if you have a very uh, radius uh, neck, when you bend, especially if you have lower action, uh, if you bend a lot, the note starts to die off. So uh, with a flatter radius up here, you can, since you're going to be doing most of the bending right. up here, uh, the notes will ring out more. Just it's a modernized version of this classic, amazing instrument.
lot of the, um, just the, the period accurate touches on here are just it's so special because you really don't see them beyond 1954. You've got your uh, the little football switch tip here. The pickup covers are rounded. A lot of cool looks. You got the little tiny skirts on the knobs here instead of the long jacket that we're used to. Uh, my favorite detail is the uh, the back plate, which oh, yeah. it's so funny to me because early on the '54, uh, the first year Strats had the serial number actually on the plate. You probably can't see this in the video. You're going to have to get oh, B-roll later. But if you really look in the light, you can see that it's a little number right here on the actual plastic plate. And that used to be the serial number of original 54 Strats. Yeah. But another detail about this back plate is that you see that the holes to string your guitar are small little circles, whereas later they became more elongated, like ovals, right? Yeah. Um, it was so hard to string this guitar through these holes that people used to take the back plates off and leave them off so that they could string their guitar oh. easier. They would lose the plate and the plate is where the serial was. So you ended up with a bunch of 54 strats that had no serial number. Oh, I didn't know that, that's crazy. What's your serial number? My serial number ends in 007. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're Good. I think we That's got it all now. We did, we did it. So uh, anyway. the, the only reason why I'm part of this video at all is because I'm, you know, um, I'm the, the vintage guy here. You can tell because of the white beard. I'm the vintage guy. Uh, so as the vintage guy, um, I always bring books to these uh, videos because it makes me look smart and it makes me feel good about myself. Put them um, on. I know you want oh, to. Oh, the glasses. They look really good. Yeah. So first of all, uh, I I love I love this book. Uh, I'm so happy they did another printing of this. Oh, this I got is it. beautiful. It's an amazing book. I'm going to yeah. talk about that. Everybody one at needs to have this book. Sorry. So this book is called the Fender Stratocaster. So I figured uh, it was a, a you know a topical book to bring to this video. Why not? Um, <clears throat> but there's just some fascinating information about the inception and the very, you know, um, the very first years of development of the Strat. Um, and actually how uh, unclear the, the, in, the story of its inception is. Because um, Leo remembers the story a certain way. Uh, Tavares remembers the story a certain way. Um, who else? Was Tadeo there at that point? Tadeo, I don't know if Tadeo was there. He probably was, but uh, Billy, Billy Carson, Bill Carson, oh, yeah. um, also remembers the story a certain way, and it's really fascinating to see um, these guys trying to remember how it all came to be. But one thing was for sure, um, Leo wanted a better guitar uh, to add to the already existing Telecaster. And Bill Carson, who was the, the player, one thing about Leo Fender is that he always really relied heavily, uh, and it was so smart of him to do this, on musicians, actual playing musicians to give him feedback on his designs. Yeah. And one of the things that, um, that Bill Carson said is, you know, in doing a lot of session work with Telecasters, after a while, my ribs start to hurt and my arms start to hurt. And lo and behold, look at these yeah. guitars. And if you look at the, at the little decal at the very tip of the headstock there, what's it say? Well, on the on back this side. The original. I can't see it. <laughs> the original. It's fine. It's cotton? Cut. <laughs> the original the cotton body. You're <laughs> right. Oh, contour. It's that, it's fancy handwriting, man. Yes, it's called cursive. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, kind of like old English, but of, of writing. <laughs> right. Original contour body, not cotton. Mm -hmm. Contour body. Contour body. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the contour body is a big deal. It, you know, that this little, uh, this cut was a big development, actually. Yeah. And, and this, this right was here. years before fat people. <laughs> so. You're not entirely wrong. Uh, and yeah, also the cut in the front makes it a lot more comfortable on the mm -hmm. forearm. Um, and of course today we take that for granted, but back in the day, th that's, that was actually a big deal. Uh, and there was another thing that uh, Leo um, wanted to introduce on this model. 
um, to compete with Bigsby's, which was the incorrectly named tremolo system. Mm. And the reason why I say that, and they talk about that in the book a little bit, is tremolo, as we know, as a musical term, actually means uh, modulation of volume, not pitch. Yeah. Vibrato is modulation of pitch, uh, which is what this does, the wiggle stick. And um, yeah, but anyway, they called it a tremolo. It was used interchangeably, and apparently Leo kind of used it interchangeably. And yeah, and so they actually they did the patent pending saddles on here. Yeah. Sorry also, if I just stole your thunder. But. No, man, we're we're all full of thunder, man. This is all our thunders. But um, yeah, six saddles. That was like a big deal. You could intonate each string individually. Wild. Uh, so that, this book is cool. This book is amazing, and I, I've been in communication with Flavio Camerani, who, by the way, is the, the author of this book. Amazing books. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but they're worth every penny. Um, this is the best guitar pictures in one concise package that I think I've ever seen. So even if you just, if you don't care about the knowledge and you just wanna yeah. see really, really cool guitars. This book is amazing. And on that note, there's three volumes. Volume two covers 1946 to 1964. Uh, and there's a really like great documentation of a 54 Strat in here. And a lot of these appointments that we were talking about, the, you know, you're gonna have to show this later, but <laughs> the rounded, um, you know, holes in the back plate, uh, the string tree, that the simple circular string tree, the single string tree, the I don't know, the rounded pickup covers. One thing when I was uh, doing hardcore research, I'm glad uh, you're on this page right now. I didn't realize of the, like the first 100 guitars, they were actually kind of a one tone sunburst. Like it was actually essentially natural ash in the middle hmm. um, and then got bursted from for sure. From just the edges. Like all of these you know, seminal bottles, they, they developed as, you know, the new year came in. And yeah, the new, the following year model, the following year mm -hmm. <laughs> version <laughs> came out. They all changed so much. But yeah, that's the color changed dramatically throughout yeah. the years for sure. And these colors look pretty damn good. Yeah, that yeah. looks really nice. Yeah, so I believe all of the ones we got are a wide fade. Uh, chocolate sunburst, two tone, of course, mm. and um, but yeah, I mean we can we can put a three tone on it, we can put a silver burst on it, whatever, yeah. whatever you want, man. had we've been lucky enough to have a few 54 strats here in the past and I've played all of them the neck is right the neck shape is right especially down here where the radius is correct um, it really feels like a, like a 54 strat they're a lot of fun playing them they sound great look great feel great uh, yeah and we have um, I mean there's a whole slew of 54 models that we've got on order some of them are just kind of 54 commemorative so they're just a modern guitar that's really really cool and has some of these appointments yeah. um, and then we we've got a whole bunch of just regular um, like straight up nine and a quarter vintage frets um, got some hardtails coming there's good stuff we also have some very cool stuff with Levi Perry coming that oh, I think yeah. you'll like um, I tried to think of what effects so to speak would be the um something that was used in 54 so just yeah. it's gonna be awesome looking just, forward to that yeah Definitely. i know you i know you love those Definitely. So. 
So, it's been uh, a lot of fun playing these guitars. Always great to do a video with you lads. Uh, now, these guitars are not going to last long, mm -hmm. I would imagine. So, uh, I think you're about to do a sales pitch to that camera right that there. That one? That one, yeah. My camera. Go. Okay. Go. Oh, God. I've been rehearsed. Um, just let us know if you want to order one to your liking. We'll spec it out how you want. We'll get you the quote. We'll get you the ETA. Everything's actually really easy. Our custom shop reps are super responsive. So we'll make it happen. We also have other guitars here. It's crazy. Uh, no. oh, I'd like to get one of these, but in the shape of a telly. Is that possible? Yeah, why not? OK, sweet. Yeah, excellent. I mean, See they will do it if you want it. <laughs> I'll do it. Like and subscribe. See you later. <laughs> Smash it. <laughs> Smash it. D. Hey. D. Oh, this is not flat. <laughs> 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 Slash is famous for playing 54 Strats, right? Yes, yeah. it is, it is. Uh, mine's boring. Mine is 4026. Oh, wow. 4 to 6? Isn't that a oh, I Chicago have, uh, song? I have 4,000. What? What's that Chicago song? Something... 25 or 624? Or some shit like that, right? I don't know. Can you be, like, a little bit respectful? <laughs> I know you just got back from the motherland, but... I don't know, it's, it's a... It's what we do. You're in the land of respect <laughs> now. Sorry.